In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create this kind of shattered effect in GIMP. So, just open up your image that you want to use. And I just put my image onto a new layer. I'd recommend not having the image as your background layer, but you can if you want. Now, just right click uh, in your layers dialog, right click on your layer with the image in it and select Add Layer Mask and select black full transparency then select add now as you can tell your image disappeared that's because when the color is black on the layer mask it will pretty much erase your image so what you're going <clears throat> to what you're going to want to do is um create a new brush and um, just make a square brush you can do this by going to your brushes dialog which you can also find under windows dockable dialogs brushes. So go to your brushes dialog and down here at the bottom there's a page icon. You can press that to make a new brush and um, and these are the settings I use. You can <clears throat> you can edit them a little. So there are a few basics. You're going to want to have the shape on square and the spikes at two um that's about it really that you're going to need the same as mine now just get your so once you have that now go down to your paintbrush your options and select apply jitter and set the amount to five and what this will do is normally if you don't have jitter on it'll just paint it in the sm in a one smooth line but when you do have jitter on it um, makes your brush scattered, kind of. So now just have make sure your foreground color is on white. Then just start painting, and um, I'm just going to make the bottom corner of my image shattered. You can choose however you want what it, um, however you want your image to look. I'm just going to do this. Okay, and once you're satisfied with this, um, you can make it look even better by... Oh, well, now you're just going to want to right-click on this layer and select Apply Layer Mask. This just um, merges the layer mask and the layer together. Now go to Filters, Light and Shadow, Drop Shadow. And I'm just going to keep most of the default settings. I just turned the blur radius to 10 and unchecked allow resizing then click OK but you can adjust that and now you have a nice shadow to it so it looks better so yeah that's how you create this kind of shattered effect and if you want you can delete the background layer and then go to file save as and save this as a dot um, save this as a dot png file so that's very important. If you save it as a PNG file, it will um, save the transparency. So if you post it on a website, um, the background will be transparent.